Ladies and gentlemen, fornication. <laughs> Sorry, for, for an occasion. <laughs> like, like this, my main duty, apart from ripping into Nick a bit later on, which I'm looking forward to, is thank Nick on behalf of the bridesmaids for those kind words and the, the present that I've given last week. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Dan. And if you do know me, I'm sorry, what can I say about that? What's in it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. Oh, sure. it, don't break it though, because it's probably worth a lot of money. <laughs> right. I, I've tried to memorise this speech, but you'll have to forgive me if I'm, you know, looking at notes. I'm a bit nervous, you can probably tell. Probably as nervous as Nick was this morning. In fact, Nick, you, you left this in the toilet earlier on. <laughs> I've never, I've never done one that big before. <laughs> he was a bit nervous, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> you might be wondering why it's been two best men today, me, me and Mel. Well, the idea is that Nick was meant to find the best man for the job, but he couldn't, so that's what happened, really. Although, saying that, between us, I think we have done a reasonably good job of getting him to the church. And so washed and dressed and stuff. I think he washed and dressed himself, didn't he? <laughs> or did you help him a bit? Uh, Mel helped me a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and we had a nice breakfast this morning at Morrison's. What a bargain for three quid that was. <laughs> <laughs> did you? You got ripped off, Alice. <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed I couldn't grant Nick his final wish as a, best, as a single man, but when they're frightened, no sheep. <laughs> they're pretty quick. Now, I've, I've done a little bit of research, and during my research, I looked at the three key elements of a wedding. And the first is the aisle, the longest walk you'll ever make. Daddy! Yeah, I don't know. It's my best fun. <laughs> uh, the second is the altar, where you, you know, you make your values and stuff. And the third is a hymn that you sing to celebrate those values. And I really hope that's why I could hear Len say, I'll alter him. <laughs> <laughs> There's loads I could tell you about it, Nick, and to be honest, not much of it's that suitable. But I've got a quick list, so I'm going to post through a few points that you can buy from about later on when he's buying you a drink. When you eat, you're buying him a drink, sorry. We went to Reading Festival once, I'm sure Nick remembers that, meeting John Peel, drinking from morning to night so we didn't get hangover. That was fine until after Reading Festival. <laughs> yeah. uh, there was Nick's first car, The Beast. Do you remember that, Nick? Yeah, The Beast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, was, there was a house we had, Ward's Lane, which was a house that, I don't know if you know the young ones, that made their house look like a palace. <laughs> and once there, we, we, we got it. We got, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't ours, that's how it was when we moved in. And we got a sofa stuck on the stairs, and we had to we knock a wall down wall. to get it down. <laughs> <laughs> we did, I don't know why. And there was another house, a bit yeah, better house we lived at, called the, called the Mad House, that actually Sarah, Sarah lived there as well. And uh, just a few points from that house. There's, remember Rats to Mate? Yeah. Blimster? Yeah. Little Grey from the Crab Nebula? <laughs> yeah. He was a cat that was, he used to come and visit occasionally. <laughs> Hang on, just one minute. <laughs> there's, there's some shaky brew, which is the greatest game ever if you need to make a cup of tea, you decide to make a cup of tea. And you can use that to shake your shot, shake your last bit of cake. Shake you buy me around. Yeah. Shake you buy me Look at that, mate. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, then there was the time Michael Foster, the potential MP at the time, came around canvassing, and at least three of the male housemates were wearing skirts. <laughs> that did take some explaining at the time. There was Euro 96, the World Cup, the Tower of Beer, the Back Garden Olympics. <laughs> And there was one that I'd have loved a bit of, I wasn't, when Nick had a steering wheel stolen out of his car. Can you imagine Nick was getting into his car and his steering wheel not being there? Well, you can speak about that later. Uh, I've got a few points here from a friend of ours called Anne, a friend of Nick's really, but I know the guy quite well. Who, um, he, he's a top geezer in Malaysia with um, Dyson and it really sucks that he couldn't be here. Uh, then, who uh, sucks. Uh, <laughs> Very clever, mate. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I'm here all week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's asked me to mention just some points, and these mean nothing to me, but apparently if we watch Nick's reaction, you know, we might. So, okay, chair well cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Paperback parade? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The worst bicycle thief in Hereford and Worcester. No, that wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> The police um, never came to see me. Okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just reading what was written. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, the yeah. London Road building sign incident. I think I might know that bit, but I, you know. <laughs> yeah. Those things that electrical wires are carried on, what are they called? <laughs> I'm not saying it now, mate. <laughs> uh, that, that was from my friend Anne. And there, there's one little story, a brief, I'll try and be brief because I'm waffling on already, about when we went camping in Scotland. Has anyone ever been to Scotland? 
<laughs> was it cold? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, you want to try camping at the beginning of April, <laughs> right by the edge of the first of fourth. Right, but first we've got to get there, so we get on the train on the way to Scotland. We go into rather sadly the British Juggling Convention. So we load up with our clubs and unicycles and everything, and we get to about Carlisle, and the train breaks down. So we're waiting for about an hour, and the announcement comes on that there's another train been sent. Be fine, don't worry. So about an hour later, there's an announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your guard speaking. The engine that's been sent to pick us up has caught fire. <laughs> that's right. The other engine will be on its way shortly. <laughs> so about another hour later, this train pulls up and disembark, get on the new train. Eventually get to Edinburgh, it's getting on for midnight probably, wouldn't it, I'd say? Mm, yeah. So we get out onto Princess Street, I said to Nick, right mate, where are we going? Whereabouts is this convention then? Oh, I don't know. I thought, I thought you knew, did you not write down? We both look at Sarah, Sarah, do you know? She didn't know either, so we're in Edinburgh, not a clue where we're going, apart from we're going to... It was Grammond Campus, when it was that? It's no good telling you name, mate! Why didn't you remember that five years ago, fifteen years ago, whatever it was? Well, we asked the taxi driver if he'd seen any red noses and silly hats and stuff, and he turns out he had. He gave us a lift there, so we get to the aforementioned campsite of the first of fourth. Pitch black, freezing cold, the rain's lashing up off the river, and... The rain's vertical in our faces, horizontal even in our faces. And we sort of managed to land our tents from flying up like that and get them down. Get to sleep. I wake up in the morning, I can hear Nick effing blind outside the tent, swearing like a trooper. And I put my head out, and I don't know, those who know Nick will know this look. <laughs> That's the Nick look. And he's kicking the tent. <coughs> Nick, 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 what, what, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? It's not even your tent, mate. It's Johnny Bodgers. Leave. Don't kick Johnny Bodgers. Johnny Bodgers. Johnny Bodgers. <laughs> Johnny Bodgers. <laughs> uh, it turns out that he managed to put his tent inside out. <laughs> <laughs> he put the outer on the inner and the inner on the outer. Now, you could try and recreate this and you'd be hard pushed to do it, I suspect. But it's true, isn't it? If you did that. It was pitch black, mind when we put it up. And it was very cold. And it was cold. Yeah. And we had to wear our coats in bed. It was that cold. But the, the bottom line is, I helped him sort it out. He calmed down and we had a great time. And to be honest, that's really what a lot of my time with Nick have got in common. That's laughter. Whatever the occasion, whatever the situation, we've had a great laugh about stuff. He's been a great mate and we've had some brilliant times together. And I'm sure we'll have plenty more in the future. It's been an honour to be the best man today, and when Nick and Len told me they'd get a mad, I was delighted. I'm sure you'll agree that Len is still in today, and Nick doesn't screw up too bad himself either, really. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> and uh, as Merle's no doubt to get on with his bit, because I, I know a bit, he's been practising his five juggling fire. It's amazing, his act, brilliant. So I'm sure he'll want to get on with that. I'd just like to leave you with a little, some lyrics from one of my favourite songs, and that is this. It's life is one big road with lots of signs. So when you're riding through the ruts, don't complicate your mind. Flee from hate, mischief and jealousy. Don't bury your thoughts. Put your vision to reality. Ladies and gentlemen, please be up standing once again. Bride and 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 Bride and